Anyone who makes an account on the NRA forums just to start a flame war about homicide statistics is clearly a gun control. So this week, I'm going to the New York Comic Con. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about the Westboro Baptist Church showing up and protesting for some inexplicable reason, because that's more of a San Diego thing. But going to Comic-Con does have me thinking a little bit about trolling in general and how it relates to geeks. I'm going to define what I mean by trolling, and if you're curious about what I mean by geeks, I made a whole video about that, so go ahead and click if you're curious. The definition of trolling is, perhaps appropriately, a topic that's frequently used for trolling. What counts or doesn't count as a troll post is highly subjective, but there are some aspects of those posts that are fairly universally recognized. Trolls are, by almost all accounts, individuals who disrupt normal discourse with statements which are, by nature, inflammatory. The success of a troll post is determined by the scale and vehemence of the response to those statements. The more violent and disruptive the reaction, the better. Big air quotes around better. Colloquially, there's been a growing usage of the term trolling to describe any action which results in an upset audience, including hate speech, bullying, death threats, or pranks, or even earnest criticism that just makes people angry. Now, I very much believe in the flexibility of language, and I think that a word's definition should match its usage. But personally, in order to call something trolling instead of just abuse or a prank, which we have words for already, it must seem by all appearances to be innocuous and genuine, while secretly being engineered to upset people. So Rick Rowling, while it is engineered to be a prank, not trolling. Threatening someone, harassing them, or calling them names, while it might make them upset and get a reaction, is abuse, not trolling. Innocently asking whether an airplane on a treadmill would take off on a high school physics forum? Trolling. Even with that rigid of a definition, what counts as seemingly innocuous is still highly subjective. But it certainly isn't what most people would call trolling. Trolling, in the original sense of the word, is, more than anything else, subtle capable of causing flame wars of incredible magnitude without any indication that anything is amiss. Needless to say, by almost any definition, most people don't like trolls, because they lower the quality of discourse on the internet for their own amusement. For that reason, an onus has been placed on reasonable posters everywhere not to respond to obviously inflammatory posts, because attention only makes the problem worse. Rule number 14 of the internet is don't feed the trolls. But there's still the general attitude of smirking acceptance, like, what are you going to do? There are even some who will go so far as to defend trolling as a form of poetic justice, saying that it's not just a pastime for bored sadists, but a just punishment for weakness of character. After all, the highest priority troll targets are those who absolutely need everyone else to share their point of view, people who are so enraged by any disagreement that they get to the point of unwarranted verbal abuse. However, trolling doesn't stop those people from being annoying, and it certainly doesn't teach them tolerance. If anything, it's making them worse. An impressive number of psychological studies on anger and catharsis, links in the description, all indicate that the more time that somebody spends in angry states of mind, whether they're punching a pillow or typing furiously at a troll on the internet, the more prone they are to anger and acts of aggression, like verbal abuse. It's true that expressing anger and other intense emotions in constructive ways has a definite psychological benefit, but the more that someone is inspired to rant angrily on the internet, the more likely it is that they'll become an even bigger jerk online and in real life. That would suggest that trolling isn't just ruining a forum for a little while, it's actually training people to be irate, easily offended curmudgeons. It's making the world a less tolerant place than it already is. So that's great. There's something in particular about the nature of trolling that really gets to me. It necessarily targets people who really care a lot about something. Like geeks. To get the sort of flame war that trolls are looking for, they need to find a topic that is something that people disagree about, sure, but also something that people care deeply about, so that if they succeed, the troll can just chuckle to themselves about how everybody's getting worked up about something that doesn't really matter. But here's the thing. That topic is clearly important to the trolled, and that might be something to be admired, or even protected. In an era of cynicism and hipsters, there's definitely a current of opinion that whatever that thing you're into is, you probably shouldn't be so into it. As we've discussed, meaning doesn't really exist outside of people's heads. A person who doesn't really care about anything doesn't have to make any assertions or build anything. They can happily sit on the sidelines and make fun of the people who are actually playing the game. And it is just a game. It's absurdly easy to say that somebody is stupid for caring about something that you don't. It takes almost zero mental energy to say that their favorite anime is poorly written, or that their favorite team sucks, or that their heroes are flawed, and in so doing, make them really upset. 
But the only way to care about anything at all, whether it's Sherlock or freedom of speech or space travel or the future of discourse on the internet, is to stand in opposition to that urge and say, it might be dumb, but it's still okay to care about it. In that sense, I think that trolls might represent the antithesis of what it is to be a geek, a sort of smirking criticism of unironic enthusiasm about a fandom, or anything, a sort of personification of the idea that you shouldn't care so much. Some geeks might be trolls, but it seems to me that the act of trolling itself is fundamentally anti-geek, which is pretty weird considering where the term trolling comes from. I mean, Usenet might have more people on it now than it did in the 80s, but it's still pretty much for geeks. Do you think that the term trolling is overused? Do you think that trolling as I described it is inherently corrosive to geekdom? Please carefully leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to blah blah subscribe blah share, and I'll see you next week.